Hi there, it's Nanette from the Metal Embossing Academy. So in today's video, I'll show you how to do the three main techniques used in metal embossing called low relief, high relief and engraving. So to start with, you need a small piece of metal. This is just an off cut that I'm using to demonstrate uh, how we'll do the techniques. You'll need a hard working surface, so a cutting mat or an MDF board or even a, a glass cutting board is perfect for this. As long as your surface is smooth, um, because any texture or um, dust particles or whatever on your board will transfer onto your metal. So it's really important that your surface is smooth. Then you'll need a soft surface. So for that you can either use um, a sheet of felt or um, I just like using these cleaning cloths because they instantly give me three different levels to which I can raise my metal. You'll need some masking tape if you want to transfer some designs onto your metal. You literally just stick your, your pattern onto, your, onto the front of your metal with masking tape and then transfer it using a red pen so you can see what you've transferred already. You'll need a rubber roller, you'll need a stylus tool and a paper tortillion. So to get started, we'll start with the low relief technique and for that I'll just show you using little hearts. So to do low relief, which is a single raised line, you work your design from the back on two layers of your cloth. Flip it over onto your hard surface. If your metal buckles, just roll it out nice and flat, being mindful not to flatten your raised lines. Then what I like to do is I normally just like to use my paper pencil, flatten the area inside the line with my paper pencil. You can go around the outside as well. And then I define both sides of my line. So I go just on the inside of the raised line and I define the line with my stylus tool and also just on the outside of that line. Like that. And there you can see we have a beautiful raised single line and that is called low relief. The next one we'll do is called high relief and there are two ways in which you can do that. You can either do high relief on a flat surface or high relief with a rounded surface. So we'll do the flat one first. So your basic way of starting is exactly the same. You work your design from the back. So you'll need to press relatively firmly, a little bit harder than you would for writing. So in, in pushing the design out from the back, you raise it on the front. So again, take your cloth away, lay your metal flat on your hard surface, roll your metal out if needed. And then the main thing to remember is for high relief, you only define on the outside of the line, not on the inside, because we want to raise that whole middle part up. Okay, so if you want, you can just go over it with your paper pencil first, just to make sure your, uh, your metal surrounding the little raised line is nice and flat. And then you just define this line to make it nice and sharp, like this. And then you'll flip it over onto your hard surface, take your paper pencil and just color in the metal, so just on the inside of your design, just that little bit, and just make sure you stretch your metal out evenly. So it just goes to the level of the board, and then when you flip it over, you've got this beautiful, I don't know if you can see that, little raised heart design. So I normally just go over the outside again, just to make sure my work is nice and crisp. Okay, so Low relief is a single raised line. High relief is where you lift the whole pattern up. So the next one is high relief with a rounded look. So our technique is the same. You always start your design from the back. Press nice and hard. Do your little line. 
flip it over onto your hard surface. Go over with your paper pencil just to stretch out your metal around it. Like that. Then again, only define with your stylus tool around the outside because this is high relief. So we want to lift the whole design up. Okay, so then I normally start this process, I do it gradually. So I'll start on two layers of my cloth and I'll gently color it in. So just that little bit there, you can see as I do it, the metal stretches out. And in doing it on my soft surface, the metal gives way a little bit more and it'll actually create a little rounded look. So when I flip it over, you can see that it's not as flat as that one. It's got a more rounded look. So I'd like to raise it even more. And so that's why I do it gradually is to make sure the metal stretches evenly. So I've done it on two layers. So now I'm going to double up and do it on four layers to create that nice concave look that I'm looking for. So you can see as I do this, the metal stretches and gives way. So I'm working on aluminium sheet today and it's a rather forgiving metal and it stretches quite a bit, not as much as, um, as pewter would. But it still gives you a nice um, a nice level of height that you can that you can raise it to. I'm just going to go a little bit more so you can really see the difference. Okay, let me just flatten that out. Right, so normally after I've raised my line, I like to use my stylus tool again and just define the line around it again so that everything is nice and neat. Okay, so I hope you can see that. So this is our single raised line, low relief, high relief with a flat look. So that's just done by flipping it over onto the board your hard surface coloring it in and this one is high relief using our soft cloth to create more depth and then the last one is called engraving so where the other three are all done from the back of your metal engraving is done from the front so literally just drawing your little heart from the front and so with those four techniques, you can do absolutely any design in metal um, and combining the techniques really creates beautiful depth and interest and um, just makes your work interesting. So it's super simple. I really hope that helped you and um, I'll link in the comment box below uh, just to explain the techniques step by step. Hope you enjoyed it.